First at five, Rhode Island state leaders want school districts to double down on safety inside and outside school buildings in the wake of the recent gun violence across the country. Thank you for joining us. I'm Shannon Heggie and I'm Chelsea Jones. That's why all districts, including charter schools, will be required to complete safety walkthroughs by June 10th. Right now, a rally is happening at the state house calling for gun safety legislation to be passed by the General Assembly and sent to Governor McKee's desk. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshudo is there at the rally and standing by with the details. But first, let's send it over to Alexandra Leslie live at the state house with what will come next and measures already in place to keep schools safe. Alex. Well, Shannon and Chelsea, as part of these school walkthroughs, school leaders will have to take a comprehensive survey detailing everything from if there are functional doors and windows and cameras to even if there's fencing in the parking lots. Rhode Island schools already review potential emergency hazards inside schools annually, but will now be required to have an additional review by next Friday. And what they're doing now is making sure that there is nothing that was left, any rock left unturned. That's what's happening right now. On these walkthroughs, is it just I asked Rhode Island Education Commissioner Angelica Infante Green what kinds of checks and balances are done for these walkthroughs. They do them in conjunction with the police, the local police and okay. fire department. Okay. So they do it. Everyone um, plays a role here and it's it's very important that they're all working together. So it's not just one person and then they have to certify to us that that has taken place. Wright says any emergency upgrades or repairs will be reimbursed through the school building authority. It's available and it has been available, but we want to make sure that districts know that this is an emergency. This qualifies as emergency repairs or anything that needs to get done um, to keep everyone safe. Now, Governor McKee also spoke about the General Assembly passing common sense gun legislation. He is urging them to do so and says when that comes to his desk, he will sign it right away. Now, moments ago, gun safety advocates held a rally outside the state house for that very reason. My colleague Sheena Lashuto was outside the state house for that rally and has more details now. Sheena. Well, advocates and lawmakers say it's a cycle they don't want to be stuck in anymore. They continue trying to pass these bills every session while tragedies continue playing out throughout the nation. Now, a little bit ago, dozens of state leaders were on the state house steps urging lawmakers to vote on a set of gun bills they believe can help create a safer Rhode Island, including a bill that would ban high capacity magazines. The bill sponsor Senator Coyne taking the chance to honor those killed in Uvalde. We will never know the many achievements that awaited those 19 children and two teachers. The contributions they would have made, the happiness and pride they would have brought to others and the families that they had or might someday start. Instead, once again, parents, sons, daughters, and siblings are left to grieve. And to try to make sense of this unexplainable tragedy, it, it's mind boggling. Now, dozens of Rhode Islanders were also here wearing orange, supporting the cause, urging lawmakers to vote on these gun safety bills once and for all. While Second Amendment advocates are holding their own rally on Thursday, we have more on their reaction to all of this coming up new at 6. For now, we're live in Providence. I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News. First tonight, the school tragedy in Uvalde, Texas is prompting a closer look at school security in Rhode Island. Officials will do safety walkthroughs of every school in the state in the next week and a half. Also, the governor, education commissioner and head of the state police say the state will pay for any emergency upgrades for repairs need for schools to make. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie is live outside of the state house with what those reviews will entail. Alex. Well, Chelsea and Shannon, the those reviews will be making sure that the basics like doors, windows and cameras are all functional and Ryan says that all school districts will be eligible for up to $500,000 in emergency approval. It's been exactly one week since 19 elementary school students and two teachers were killed in a school shooting in Uvalde, Texas. It's a moment that we felt very deeply. Rhode Island Education Commissioner Angelica Infante Green says Rhode Island has consistent and ongoing action to keep students and teachers safe, but says the state needs to continue to act. Families deserve a peace of mind. Educators deserve a peace of mind. State leaders announced that's why they'll require all school districts, along with local police, to conduct safety walkthroughs by next Friday. 
They will share their findings with RIDE and our school safety committee led by the Rhode Island State Police. The walkthroughs are meant to find and correct problems, including for windows, doors, alarms, and cameras. Every aspect inside and outside the facility. RIDE will then authorize districts up to $500,000 each through the school building authority. And they will be reimbursed for that work after it's complete. On top of that, Rhode Island State Police Colonel Darnell Weaver says state police are ready to lend their time and experience. So that every Rhode Island parent can know that their child is going to a school in a safe place. Now you heard the governor mention the school safety committee. That committee meets monthly and it actually had a pre-scheduled meeting on the day of that school shooting in Texas. Live in Providence, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News. Alex, thank you. And reinforcing school safety is just one step. Rhode Island leaders say there needs to be more action on gun control. 12 News reporter Sheila Loshudo continues our team coverage from the State House, where a rally for gun safety took place this afternoon. Sheena. Well, we saw dozens and dozens of people here today. A five year old little girl was up there with state leaders holding a sign that said ban assault weapons and no more school shootings. And that's really in line with the mission these lawmakers are trying to achieve. They're urging lawmakers to vote on a set of gun bills once and for all. And the governor himself has already said he would sign these proposed bills, including a ban on high capacity magazines and so called assault weapons. Authorities said the gunman was able to obtain the weapons legally. This was in the New York Times this weekend. Look at all the times that it's been stated that the gunman was able to obtain these weapons legally. We need to act now. We have things that we can do to change that, and we must act now. Thank you. And we also checked in with Second Amendment supporters today who tell us they don't think these bills are the answer. Instead, they think that the state could focus more on things like school safety. Now, the Second Amendment supporters are also holding their own rally here on Thursday. Reporting live in Providence, I'm Sheena Lushuto, 12 News.